Just her general yell at you. No, just, just you. Hey, we got some poets up here now, and one thing, one the great thing about um, this this room is it's a listening room, and by that we mean that uh, we give a lot of respect to everybody who gets up on the mic, and we don't have the full band up here, so it's just going to be Kevin. So if you could just kind of. Hold the, the whispers, uh, hold your voice down to a whisper and, and give your attention to the, uh, the poet here, Kevin. Very good poet, uh, award-winning poet, and a heck of a nice guy, and he brought the entire community of, uh, where are you from, Kevin? From South, entire, half of South Euclid is here. Okay, this first poem was my submission this year to the Hessler Street Fair Poetry Anthology and it's called Appalachian Eruption. Mountains detonate. Habitats are blown away. Nature's work undone. Appalachian springs run dry. Nature forgot how to cry. Alone in a corner of a nursing home lounge, sits a raisin-faced figure in a stationary wheelchair. From her limbs hang ragged sacks of flesh. Her hair has faded from chestnut brown to marbled silver. Little remains of the past selves she has embodied over her near century of being. She cannot extract from her time-blemished memory things which she once held dear. Her mother's home cooking when she was a child the accent in her late husband's voice. Such treasures have been washed away by rogue currents on the lifelong sea. Her terminal port is nearing. Wow. And I have one more. Uh, this, is, this is another new one. He'd survived as wild ones do in the woods since 32, bathing in sweet feral rains, pine sap running through his veins. Only once he journeyed down from the hills to my hometown. As he slowly strode my way, this is what I heard him say. Lace up those old hiking boots, roam where critter kind commutes, dine on nature's primal fruits till you lie among the roots. On he trudged, grief on his face. Hypnotized, I matched his pace. With each step he took, he swore, morning groves which stood no more. Bygone meadows had been shaved, clovers slain and prairies paved. Stunned was he by pastures clad in cement and asphalt plaid. Soon he stopped and shed a tear for the creek which once ran clear. Pristine waters could be seen, never more in the ravine. As the day approached its end, he climbed to watch the sun descend. But passing through a nauseous shroud, he gasped for air and cursed aloud. Atop the highest cliff, he mused on all the things men had abused. He made his mind up then and there, or there and then, excuse me. He'd never trek back down again. Though no one's sure just when he died, I hope that he was satisfied at having planted in my mind seeds of redemption for mankind. Since his virtuous tirade, I've continued his crusade. To each soul who challenged me, I recite the old man's plea. Lace up those old hiking boots, roam where critter kind commutes, dine on nature's primal fruits till you lie among the roots. Oh my God, he has no, no more with him. He's a true poet. He doesn't say, I have another. Lock the door, I'm going to read my collected works. Kevin, that was fantastic. Let's hear it for Kevin. Excellent stuff.
Wow. That's some real poetry there. Absolutely free for you people. Brian, do you